Hey, my name is Ben Rutkowski. I'm a cinematographer here in New York, and today we're going to be doing a breakdown of the new Aperture Spotlight Mount. The Spotlight Mount comes with a 19, 26, or 36 degree lens. The larger the number, the wider the spread of the beam. With this lens, you can shape light the way you need it. Whether you're going for an actual circular spotlight effect, or you're cutting it down with gobos or the internal shutters. With this spotlight mount, you're essentially turning your Aperture 300D into a Leco. You can obviously use it for theatrical purposes, such as what we're doing right here. If you want to shave down the light so that it's just a, a beam on your character, you can do that. I was really impressed by with this spotlight mount is the amount of precision you have over your focus on the actual beam. But as we focus it up, you can see how sharp those edges are. The spotlight mount on the 300D almost has no chromatic aberration, which is pretty impressive. It also comes with a gobo holder, so you can use gobos for a variety of lighting effects. We have uh, Venetian blinds. Aperture spot comes with an iris, which will show you what that can be used for. Now we can adjust the size of our beam without having to change barrels. So other than using the spotlight directly, another really handy use for this guy, as I would use with a Leco or a Joe Leco, is for actually creating a book light. What's really great about building a book light with uh, something as controllable is that you need a lot less flaggage to control it. For me, the biggest advantage of having a spotlight on an LED is it's fully dimmable, and whether you're at 100% or 40% or even 5%, it's not gonna change color temperature. For more information about Aperture Spotlight Mount, click on the link below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Adorama TV for more videos like this. See you next time.